Hello everybody, Princess Rivera here. We're back at Disney Springs for a snack. Yes, we're here to prove Isake's dominance over 90% of the food at Disney Springs. So you're gonna come along with us and hopefully we get some sake. Be sure to Isake! You heard the girl. So we have the Violet Sake, not at Epcot. Big surprise, thank you, Isake. Four out of five Violet Sake. It's like a nice lemonade with a punch. It's very good. Tastes like candy. So, thanks to Isake, there's a place to finally get the infamous Violet Lemonade, uh, Violet Sake rather outside of Epcot, and it's like twice as big. This uh, does not bode well for the future of sober nights at Disney Springs. Yeah. The Epcot one is for the gram. This is for your soul. Four and a half out of five plus. Like, it's time to invest in something that's more potential. So I got a vegan poke bowl. They do have chopsticks and forks if you want them. This one has tofu, teriyaki sauce, rice, cabbage, carrots, and one other thing. These are big pieces of tofu. I'm gonna cut this in half because I don't want a huge piece. Sorry, it's not cutting. Okay, now it's cut. All right, so I got all the things together here. This is very much like a place where you order food to go and you take it back to your room and you eat it. Very flavorful, very sweet. Lots of ginger, which is good. It's a very delicious and refreshing bowl, but it's also very warm. So if it's a hot day, I wouldn't recommend getting this on a hot day, but on like a mediocre day, it's very delicious. I will give this a three out of five poke bowls. So I love that they let you allow you to make your own bowl. You get to basically run the gamut. They only have two vegan sauces. We have this, which is the teriyaki, and the other vegan sauce was the wasabi. wasabi usu. And then the wasabi usu is also vegan, but got a nice mix of like carrots and cabbage and the tofu. It's got a little color to it, which is nice. On top of the rice. It's a bit hard to get in there. Stabby stab. A little like alligator twirl there. I'm just gonna try to get it all. There we go. The, bit, um, the tempura crunch is nice. It's almost like Asian Rice Krispies. With the rice, the tofu, the sauce is good. It's not overly sauce. Just enough to get everything in there. It feels healthy. I wish it had a little bit more in it, but they do have more stuff that you can add. Avocado, some other things. Some things are extra, some things aren't, but uh, I still maintain that Yusake is an underrated stand here at Disney Springs. Yeah, three and a half out of five plus. I've had more than enough people go on and on about this pizza bun. This is just like a chicken bun, but it's like pizza, marinara, and cheese, which is like, it almost sounds like an insult, but we like unique things. This orange color kind of worries me. It's uh, cowabunga. It's like a hot pocket in an Asian bun. I'm sensing a theme here. It's not bad. If you have a problem with like normal chicken buns, you want something more, I don't know, American conventional, American 
Convent conventional. Conventional. This is your thing. Good. Two and a half out of five plus. I don't think I'd order it again though. Here we have the Asaki's favorite, which is like their premier poke bowl. You have pickled peppers in here, cabbage, cucumber, spicy mayo, tempura crunch, sliced beef, some really, really strong onion, which I probably should have skipped, all on top of rice. There are a lot of onions in this, like more than half the bottom of this bowl, as I just spill all over the place, is onion. Let's try to get some rice. Mm. The pickled peppers is really strong. Overpowers a lot of everything else that's in the bowl. I like the sliced beef, that's nice and well cooked. The spicy mayo is good. If I were to do this again, I would definitely omit both the onions and the pickled peppers and probably add in some other vegetables. There's lettuce in here as well, but I don't think you need both the lettuce and the cabbage. Overall, I give this a two and a half out of five claws. I think the Prince's Bowl is slightly better. Isake. I will continue to fight that it's one of the best value for food that you get at Disney Springs. It's pretty delicious, I'm not gonna lie. Yes, with lots of options, sort of personalized what you want. And they, they, their menu changes all the time, so you have it different does. specialty buns and everything else. And that violet sake though. The fact that they have so many options and it's customizable and just a little stand is absolutely amazing. The rest of you need to get your game up. So Agreed. I want to know if you guys think there's anything else that beats the value of Yay Sake. If so, let me know in the comments below. If there's any place else you'd like to see us go to try to beat that, by all means, that's the place to find us. Hit the notification bell if you want to see other videos like this. And we have new videos five days a week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday. We will see you soon. Be sure to subscribe. I heard the girl. And like this video. Woo, woo.